All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the docking camera mod, which is being brought to us by forum user DennyTX. And what this glorious little piece of work is looking to add into the game is, well, docking cameras. But not just any docking cameras, rather ones that are very much akin to the old laser mod that we used to have back in version 0.9 of the game, so it's very cool to see some of that functionality coming back into the latest version of Kerbal Space Program, and I just like it, because even though there are a fair few camera mods out there, such as Hull Cam and Roster Prop Monitor has some camera functionality, I always enjoyed the old laser one because it could be used in windows outside of, uh, you know, the interior of your ship, and also had some fun additional features, and, uh, well... I'm happy to see those sort of functions back in, being brought to us once again by Denny TX. So let's quickly jump into the VAB and take a look at the one part that this does add in. Now, of course, the big focus of this mod is docking cameras. So already off the bat, any docking port that we have here will already have a camera built into it. So you don't have to worry about actually putting a docking camera onto your ship, it's pre-built in there into these clampotrons, so it works just fine. Now, what we do have though, if we just grab a quick command pod, is in the command and control tab, we have this little lovely onboard camera, which of course has the description of camera, just a camera, but it is in fact so much more than just a camera. This beautiful little dome is a very fun external camera that you can control. You can actually rotate it around, move the lens back and forth, zoom in and out, etc. And it's quite cool, especially if you are a, a machinima maker or you like making just any sort of videos here in Kerbal Space Program. You can really get some cool shots with these. And even since it is a external camera, you can pop it onto like the bottom of a plane and make yourself a little spy plane. It's pretty freaking cool. Uh, but once again, you really don't have to use this camera. This is a just there for if you want to have multiple external cameras or if you want to get a really cool shot. But again, not necessary. But let's go and actually check one of them out real quick. I've actually got two very fast little demonstration crafts for these external cameras. And we'll take a look at the Ares 3A over here that I have on the runway, which I have popped onto the belly of it, one of those lovely little cameras. And if we zoom in, you can see it right there. And basically, I've turned this little tiny plane now into a spy plane. Now, some quick things to go over the controls, so let's break. We get this lovely little camera one pop up here, which we can move around wherever we want and wherever you have uh, the most visibility, really. And you may be asking, well, it's kind of small. Can we make it bigger? We can indeed. There's a little button here in the bottom right-hand corner. You click that. And boom, it gets bigger. Click it again, boom, it gets bigger. Now, it only can go up to that size. After that, it goes back down small. But quite frankly, I think that that's a pretty pretty darn good size there. Now, we have the actual camera controls over here for moving this thing around, because like I said, it is a controllable camera. And so we can move it left and right, up and down. You can zoom in and out, or you can actually grab the slider here and do that. And if you hit the center, it will center it back to where it was. Now, you may be asking once again, well, um, the picture's upside down. Yes, yes it is. But that can be fixed with this button right there. Now the problem with once you do flip it, the controls are reversed. So if I hit right, it goes left and vice versa. And if I hit up, it goes down, etc., etc. Uh, but of course, yeah, you, you just have to kind of get used to that. Because yes, flipping the camera does also flip the controls. Because it's it it assumes that it should be upside down. Because well, you put the camera upside down, so why wouldn't it be? But yeah, it's it's a little bit odd, but nonetheless quite nice. Now this button here, which I just clicked, is what you use to go through the different camera modes. We have three, the first being the color camera mode, then we have a black and white camera mode, and finally an infrared night vision camera mode, which, uh, 
Oh boy, that's that's some color saturation there. Now, all of these different camera modes, you can kind of get, or you might be able to see on the YouTube video, you might not. Uh, they have a bit of a sort of television effect being applied to them, so it's a bit of a line, you get lines going through the camera. There is a config file in the mod folder for this particular mod, so you can adjust that. And also the night vision can also be adjusted as well to how much of an effect, and I believe the sort of viable distance with it. Uh, but I pretty much just leave it on the color camera. It's, uh, works quite nicely. But let's just take off the plane real quick so you can sort of see it in action. And, uh, you know, how you could potentially use one of these to get some interesting shots for a spy plane. Because, hey, who doesn't want a, uh, Kerbal Big Brother? <laughs> there we go. So we'll just sort of take off there, bring in our gears, and angle down and watch that tower. There we go. Keep eyes on the tower. Keep eyes on the tower. Zoom. Zoom in. We've lost the tower. It's behind the air intake. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's one of the uses that you can have with this particular mod and this onboard camera. You can make a little spy plane. Now, let's revert flight. Well, actually, just go back to the space center. It'll automatically put the flight where it was last on land and go to another quick camera little demonstration that I have here, our rocket cam, which this one is to show you that you can have multiple different cameras with no issue. Now on this particular rocket, I have two. We have one onboard camera right there, camera one, and then I have another onboard camera right here, which, oh, oh there we go, click it, which comes up now as camera two. And both of these cameras are independent of one another. I can move this camera two, which is on the, uh, oh god, I always forget the name of these, stability enhancer. And I can mess around with this thing, get a nice big wide angle view of the rocket. And this could be, you know, your launch camera for your rocket. Make it nice black and white. There we go. Whereas, you know, this one over here, let's make it larger. We could have it serving as like the downward facing camera, which actually I didn't point this out with the uh, aircraft, but you can actually see the camera moving around. So it isn't a static model. It does interact and uh, move where you are telling it to, which is quite cool. And we can have this, as I mentioned, as like our uh, onboard camera facing down. Uh, perhaps keep that in color. And what we can do is, you know, launch the rocket. And the fun part about this camera mod is this camera too, even though it's attached to the stability enhancer, will still keep going until you reach a maximum distance. I believe the max distance is 2,500 meters. Uh, let's see at what point it cuts off on here. So let's throttle up, SAS, and fly. And oh god, I had the parachute come out. All right, we're still going up, but I can still control this camera, even though it's, oh boy, yeah, I forgot my staging. Let's reset that. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that. I just threw this you know, little ship together quite quickly. So let's grab you, put you there. Let's, oh God, you didn't go down there. Let's grab you, put you down there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And reset these cameras. Actually, you know what? Let's just leave on this one because this was the thing I was wanting to test with uh, the distance. So let's angle it up, go to wide. Excellent, excellent. And lift off in three, two, one. There we go. And we can still control this camera and keep on watching our smoke plume go out into the distance. Lovely. And eventually, once we do reach that mass, max distance, this window will just close. We, because we can't control that camera anymore. And yes, roughly at about 2,500 meters. That is when we lose that camera. Sad, but true, it must happen eventually. But let's head back to the Space Center and check out the last little ship that I have in orbit. Because of course, this is a docking camera mod. So, as I said, the docking cameras are built in to the docking ports. So I have this lovely docking one ship up in orbit, which is two ships. Let's turn on their lights and detach them from one another. And now we should be able to, let's uh, hmm. go to docking mode, RCS on. I'm gonna turn you. Oh boy, where where are you pointing right now? 
<laughs> Alright, let's point you over this way-ish. Yes, actually, let's just turn on the SAS and keep you on the pro grade. Now, we just need to go over to our other vessel. Lovely. And what you need to do to actually turn on your camera, if we click on the docking port, you can see we have this camera option. And we can not turn it on right now. As you'll see, we get this little thing up here telling us that we need a target. So if we set that docking port as our target, then turn on the camera, boom, there we go. We have ourselves a lovely, lovely target camera system. And it's glorious. Okay, now first let us try to get ourselves into the right orientation because, well, <laughs> I had these things all turned around from when I uh, put them up here into space. So there we go. We are nicely in line there, and you'll notice a couple of things on here. First, let's uh, actually sort of cancel our momentum here and go forward a bit. We are drifting a bit away. You'll notice we have these crosshairs, which are our center crosshairs, and we have these green lines on the edge of the screen. Now, you, what you want to do is line up these green lines with the crosshair. So once you're facing at a docking port, these should be lining up and you're where you need to be to actually dock. We also have, of course, our distance here and various X, Y vectors and our yaw, pitch, roll, etc. All the things you need to get the information that you desire for actually docking. Now we also have here is sort of a, uh, hmm, what's the best way to put it? A rotation? So see if we actually rotate our ship, that is the orientation that that vessel is in, which is of course that sort of solar panels up and down that we have it in. So it wants to be at that same orientation because that's how I built these two crafts. Now I'm actually gonna fly in sideways, but <laughs> oh well. So that is another thing. You want to match up that little notch with that little bump there so that your two ships are in line on the same angle, which is quite nice. Now we also have a little red light down here, which means that right now if we fly towards that vessel, we won't dock. If you're in line with the docking ports and you just need to go forward, it will turn green and tell you how long you have to actually dock your craft which is quite nice. Now let's actually start getting ourselves forward and also get out of the way of this rubbish there. And now we have some of the same functions that we had with that external camera. For instance, we can zoom in and out. We can change the camera to the black and white, to the night vision, which actually in space, the night vision is useful when you're on the dark side of planets, etc. But again, I still just kind of like using the color camera. And then this V up here, if we turn that on and off, that just takes away all this useful info. So if you just want the image of, you know, the crosshair guiding you in, that's all you need. But if you like all the numbers with, you know, distance and vectors and all that, you can keep this going. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, we're getting at a good point. Let's actually spin our ship around. Boom. Oh boy, oh boy. And you can see this is starting to line up because we're getting closer. So we need to face down more, or angle down more rather. Okay, there we go, there we go, beautiful. So it just helps you guide your way in to your uh, docking position, which is great. I really, really do love this because even though I do know how to dock, I, I just, I love having these sorts of things. And if you are actually knowledgeable about space, you may recognize some of this stuff as it is all sort of based off of the uh, Russian KURS system, which is their, you know, space docking navigation system. So it's quite cool that we have that. So it is a bit, a bit of the real world here in KSP, at least in some form. Oh, there we go. We're actually getting in a good line here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's uh, start moving forward a bit. We are 60 meters away. Beautiful. All right. And I'm just keeping an eye on this now. I am not looking over here at all because, well, I've got all the information I need from distance, angle, what I should change my pitch and y'all to, or what my pitch and y'all are from the other position. Okay, let's sort of slow down now. We're kind of coming in a bit hot. <laughs> all right. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Things are going well. And see, now if we just keep going forward at this position, we'll actually dock 
in 34 seconds. But of course I'm impatient, so let's go forward a bit more. So I do like that. It is quite cool that we have that ability. Nope, I've lost it. I've lost it. I accidentally touched the RCS. <laughs> but it is cool that it does give us that. So it does give us a uh, T-minus whenever that we will be docking. Okay, okay. 15 seconds. 15 seconds to dock. I'm not at the ideal angle, but it will still work. Let's slow ourselves down a bit. Okay, I am way zoomed in. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We have docked. And the camera automatically turns off because, well, we're, we're docked now. <laughs> what do you want to do? Just stare at the docking port? I mean, you could, but it'd be... It'd be weird. But yeah, that that is the docking camera mod. I love this thing. It is personally one of my favorite, actually probably my favorite camera mod. Uh, the roster prop monitor is great because it does give you those panels in the interior so you can, you know, play a bit more realistically. You can see just the static docking camera and, you know, move your way in. Whole cam is good because it gives you those external cameras that you can play around with. But I, I just, I love having... All the information that this one gives you, plus those fun external cameras. It's just, it's cool. It, it makes me happy. And yeah, that uh, that is going to be it for this episode, really. I've honestly got nothing more to talk about. Let's uh, set our target again. Boom! And turn back on the beautiful camera. Oh god, we're in the other ship now. Okay, okay, make this big. Beautiful. Ah, good times, good times. But yeah, that is going to be it for the episode today. If you would like to try out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description and uh, give it a download. And I definitely suggest you give it a try. It is, it's a very useful tool. It provides you with a lot of great information for docking and just is a good general guide. And well, it's just fun. I like it. And if you have all the other external cameras, you can do fun things with them. Like before when we had the uh, the rocket launch, the space plane, or spy plane rather. All good times. So yes, do give this mod a try. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, that you do come back for the next one. But until then, thank you for watching my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go and dock more things because I, I, I just like this camera. Later, folks.